Do you want to learn how to draw Squirtle from Pokemon? If so, you are going to need a couple of things like a blank piece of paper to draw on, a pencil to draw your doodle with, an eraser to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to trace your doodle. And don't forget the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint so we can add some color to this awesome little drawing. Grab all of those supplies and let's get started. from Pokemon. So we are going to need our papers tall and skinny. And the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna draw Squirtle's head, which is going to be in the upper half. So if this is like the half, it's gonna be like in this area and on the right side of the paper. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make kind of like a really big C shape. <clears throat> and try to make your C as nice and round as you can. So I'm gonna end my C right there. And it's a little crooked, so I mean my C isn't, it's not a perfect C, but it definitely is a C shape. I'm gonna leave a small gap right here for his eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve in maybe about an inch, and then I'm gonna come out to meet up. So this is his one eye, which is kind of off to the side. And then underneath that, I'm gonna come down and I wanna come out just a small bit further than where the bottom of my C was. And off of that, I'm gonna curve in for Squirtle's mouth. And try to have a little bit of a poke there for his kind of the bitey part, I guess, his mouth. I don't know if he's a snapping turtle, I guess that's kind of where I'm going with that. All right, this eye, we're gonna go ahead and give a small circle for the white part. And then inside the eye is a black oval. And then for the most part, the rest of his eye is gonna be a kind of a hazily brown. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. He does have a little bit of an eyebrow right here. We can draw that in. Now the other eye, a little bit easier. We're gonna go ahead and start with kind of like a one inch line. And you wanna to try to keep it lined up with the line over here for the other eye. Then we're gonna come around, kind of like a Disney eye would be where you've got that flatter bottom and big up at the top. Cartoons are all pretty much the same. Nice circle there for the shine mark. We wanna match the shine mark over here. And I'm gonna do a smaller oval for his pupil. And then there's just a little bit of white that kind of shows on his eye over here, but for the most part, this is all gonna be a brown. And we can go ahead and give him his other eyebrows. So now we've got Squirtle's head in our drawing. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of work our way down. So the next part is right here, he's gonna have an arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw kind of a diagonal line coming over and I want it to touch his neck right here at the end. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And by, I want them to come away. So again, skinnier towards the hand, bigger towards the base of the arm. And this is just gonna kind of V over. And then you've got kind of like a thumb V there. And you can kind of draw that in. Down here, we're gonna just make a nice curve. And now I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna kind of just imagine making a curved line going this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw, I'm gonna skip and draw a curved line down. And that's the back shell. And I'm stopping because I need to put a leg here so I don't wanna come down too far. If you do, that's okay, you can always erase. All right, now I'm gonna skip where his leg is. So I'm gonna skip maybe an inch and a half and I'm going to curve that shell back up 
and into his neck here. So there we go. So I've created the front part of his shell. Okay, let's go ahead and do this leg. So I'm gonna start with a nice curved line here. It's gonna come down, pretty good size curve. The base of his leg coming out of his shell is gonna be pretty big. So a nice curve is gonna come down and match up there. Then we can draw the diagonal out for his leg. And then his toes are just gonna be three Vs together. So we connect our three Vs. Now we've got one leg. Let's go ahead over here. We can add in his other leg curved line. And we want it to be a little bit shorter than this one because this one's aimed at us. This one's a little further back. We're gonna curl down. This is gonna go straight across. So he's flat on the ground. Come down at a point. We're gonna make another point there for his other toe. We've got two front legs now, or bottom legs, his legs. We're gonna do his arms up here. Now I'm gonna come out and same thing over here. We're gonna do that so it's skinnier here, wider here. And we're gonna add in our three V's over here or a W. So we, for the most part, we have Squirtle pretty done. We just need to add in those details and some color. So I'm gonna go over here to his tail and I'm gonna make a really big curl coming off of the lower half of his shell here. So I'm just gonna go right around like I'm making a swirl and stop. And then from the bottom, I'm gonna go back. So it kind of has like a weird squirrel tail look going on. Okay, then I'm gonna go from the leg, make a curve into the end right there where the arm is. And I'm gonna match that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same curve and into the arm. And this would be the white part of his shell. And you could actually carry that line over there so you can see a little bit of the white. He's gonna have one line probably that we're gonna see on his shell. The rest of it's just gonna be color. And then we've got the front to do here. So on the front of his shell, we're gonna go ahead and do a curved line. And then from that curve, we're gonna make a curve coming down. And we wanna to try to curve it with the shell. Straight line here to his leg. I didn't go all the way across, I stopped at the line. He's gonna have a curved line going through his belly there. And then we've got a straight line going down and we've got a straight line going out. So we have turtles, body, all nice and done. Look at, we drew Squirtle. I just said turtle. We drew Squirtle from Pokemon. So let's go ahead and grab our crayons, oil pastels, markers, paint, whatever it is that you want to use to add color to Squirtle, and let's go ahead and color him in. Look at how cute our Squirtle from Pokemon turned out. I hope that you had fun coloring with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.